Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Icon of Thumbs. So today, I am going to discuss about retinoscopy in three easy steps. Number one is placing working distance power. Second one is neutralize the spherical power. Third one is neutralize the cylindrical power. We will see in detail. Number one, placing working distance power. Basically, working distance is the distance between the patient eye and the valve the examiner holding the retinoscope to see the reflex. The abject value of this distance will be working distance power. The formula for working distance power is equal to 100 divided by working distance in centimeter ideally 67 centimeter will be used as the working distance so usually working distance power will be plus 1.5 diopter and the second one is neutralize the spherical power after placing the working distance power check the movement of reflex at any one meridian either in vertical or in horizontal the movement can be with movement or against movement for with movement, we should neutralize with plus power. For against movement, we should neutralize with minus power. We'll see one example. Here we have placed plus 1.5 diopter working distance power. We'll check the vertical meridian reflex. Here this is against movement. So we need to add minus power. Here you should go from 0.25 steps. We'll place the minus 0.25 diopters and check the reflex. Still it's against. Next lens will be minus 0.5 diopters. Still, it's against. Next is minus 0.75 diopters. Still, it's against. Next one is minus 1 diopter. Now, no movement, so it is neutralized. Then you can check the other horizontal meridian also. Here, no movement, so this is also neutralized. So, your final objective retinoscopy power will be minus 1 diopter spherical. If patient has this kind of scenario like only spherical power, you can finish your retinoscopy here only. No need for third step. In another scenario, one meridian will get neutralized with spherical power, another will be having a movement. In that case, you need to go for a third step which is neutralized with cylindrical power. Once you go to your spherical neutralization at one meridian, check the another meridian reflex, you will get with or against. If you get against movement, neutralize with minus cylinder. If you get with movement, neutralize with plus cylinder. Take example of first case which the vertical meridian is neutralized with minus 1 spherical. Here we are checking the horizontal meridian, it's giving against movement. Then we need to add minus 0.25 diopter of cylinder at 180 axis which is horizontal meridian. Still movement is there, increase by 0.25 steps. So next lens will be minus 0.50 cylindrical, still it's against. Increase minus 0.75, still it's against. Increase minus 1 diopter of cylinder. Here no movement which means neutralized. So the final objective retinoscopy power will be minus 1 diopter spherical with minus 1 diopter cylinder at 180 axis. Same like this against movement you can use plus cylinder and in final refraction you can transpose into minus cylinder if you want. These are the very basics of retinoscopy procedure. We have so many other techniques in retinoscopy when it comes to cylindrical power, oblique axis, media opacity, steep and flat corneas, high amount of refractive error and in cases of accommodative disorders. We'll see in upcoming videos so stay tuned with the IK Roptum. We'll see you in next video tomorrow. Until then Tata bye bye everyone. Let's go!